All right, hey everybody, I've got a cool bass line here using the altered scale as I talked about in the last video. This is the altered scale, um, the altered scale formula. This melodic device is great using to make um, bass lines with, and I've got a bass line here using that so you can get an idea of it and how to use that as well in your bass playing. But if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald with the online um, bass instructor for the online course, I want to play bass.com. And we're, you know, we're helping um, musicians reach their goals as bass players. And if you haven't subscribed, get subscribed down below. And um, I've got lots of videos like this, little you know, free tips and stuff like that to um, to check out that help um, help everybody out. And comment down below um, if you got any questions or anything. I'm glad to answer them. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go from there. But the altered scale, that's what we're talking about today. And like I said, in the previous video, I talked all about the video and I said I'd leave a, um, put a video, uh, baseline in the next video, which is this vid video here. So it's the altered scale. Um, got the, it's, it's the only thing original about it is the first, there's the root, the third, and the seventh. The rest is, um, is fair game so you've got the flat nine sharp nine flat five sharp um, flat um, 13 and those are you know those are the altered notes of it but you know it pretty much came around when um you know it's I'm not sure where it started from it's you know it's it's not it's a little gray area where it started from but we know the jazz players in the 70s really started utilizing it um, a lot in a lot of their stuff um, Coltrane used it um, a lot. It just y'all of Duke Ellington, they've all um, they all use these this altered scale a lot, and um, it just helps colorful. And being jazz, it's always it's got that tension building, the tension and release. That's um, it's kind of like their motto. So they build the tension, you know, they build it and build it, build it, and then they release it, you know. And it's it's just um, it's what makes jazz what it is today, and it's um, you know, it's. It's quite intricate music, and like I said, this this and the diminished scales, they're highly advanced scales, so I can't, it's kind of hard to get into it all um, into this video, but like I said, I've got online course, an online course, I want to play bass.com, which goes in depth, we get into the music appreciation, music history, and the scales, and how it's derived, and um, you know, other modes of each scale, so there's a lot to, um, a lot to know about it, and you know, you just want to be a well-rounded bass player, so you want to know this stuff for sure. And um, it's not it's not too far advanced that somebody can't learn it. With a little bit of little um, some lessons and some consistency, you will um, learn it and become that well-rounded bassist that um, that you that you want to be. So um, the altered scale. The super low grand, same scale. It's the seventh scale of the um, melodic minor, seventh mode of the melodic minor, and that's that's it. And I, I know I went over it in the last video, but just in case you didn't see that video, you can check back in it. Maybe there's some stuff I missed, but I'll go back over it now. But it's it's the half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and then you're at the half step to the to the root again. So that's it in C right there. So you start on B and you've got your, your flat nine, sharp nine, your actual low grand with a flat four. scale there um it's similar um well it's like i said the low grand with the flat four the low grand of the major scale the, another mo the seventh mode of the major scale but this is the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale so um so yeah it, real interesting stuff and once you see it when you see an alt seven chord you'll know right there this is what you want to go to because we can see dominant seven chords all day long and we can play the basic mixolydian over um but you know, sometimes that you know it's just it's just not enough. You want to add a little, like I said, a little tension in there to to really get people on their toes and then bring them back in their seats. So you know, that's that's where the tension and release comes. So that's that's where this scale will drive that tension with these.
with the intervals, the flat, the minor um, intervals there, second interval, the third, just the tension building intervals, there's quite a few of them. So with that being said, I've got this little bass line here I've put together for you, just to get you an idea. said just um subscribe subscribe to the channel for more of this stuff um i love the interaction comment down below let me know what you thought um i definitely it helps me um out in in lots of ways so definitely subscribe check out i want to play bass.com and um sign up you can subscribe for free there become a member for free and then um you can upgrade to full access later on whenever you want. And um, there's a free ebook there as well. So subscribe, get that ebook um, on setting up your base for success. Take it from tearing it down to nothing to putting it all back together, fine tuning it to you. So, um, all right, well, great. I uh, appreciate being here. And um, I thank you all for checking it out and subscribe, follow, whatever you do. But, um, Definitely look forward to hearing from y'all. Thanks a lot. Bye.